Hi, I'm Jim W6LG, your ham radio Elmer on YouTube. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Um, in my radio room, there's all kinds of power supplies and wires and things going every kind of direction. Um, in, in the mix are little power supplies to power up things. And slowly but surely, I've been eliminating them as best I can. Reason for that is I suspect they cause a fair amount of interference. And what I'm talking about are little that plug into um, outlet strips and power up cameras and all, other stuff. They switch on and off very quickly. Uh, it's rectified. It's got some filtering going on. And then it goes down the cable. And does that cable end up being uh, an antenna for uh, the trash that might come out of one of these? To that end, I've borrowed one of these. And it's basically, I, I play with it just a bit. Yeah, I don't know how accurate it is. It's basically a field strength meter. And that's the way I'm going to look at it, is it's just a relative number instead of... Uh, uh, a mechanical meter, it's got a digital meter on it. But can we get a feel for how much interference different devices, how much RFI guys like this are creating? Also to that end, I'm going to take a tiny spectrum analyzer, which is relatively accurate, and I've added a little probe to it. The probe um, is a telescopic whip. I don't know if that's going to do any good, but uh, that's uh, that's what I plan to use. Um, and how do I care about the interference that's occurring on 440 or 140 megahertz? Or do I want to just look at what's in the range of 3 to 30 megahertz? That I haven't decided yet. So let's take a look and see. First of all, what this tells us, and then what the tiny SA tells us in terms of its frequency. I'm not sure how much I can ca uh, capture, but I'm going to give it a shot. The uh, To my right is um, a stand with uh, cameras mounted on it, so I can point them down at the device I'm using. So. Uh, go over to that one and see what happens. So here are the um, six power supplies I found around the house. Um, powered cell phones and other stuff. So let's take a quick measurement. Uh, the device is set to zero. And see what comes up as I move it down the line from one to the next. Okay, number one is about, uh, about 100. Yeah, I'll call it 100. And number two, it's more, more like 200 on that one. Maybe a little more, 225. That one, uh, about 150 or so. Uh, that one, uh, again, about 200. 12 volt supply is about 300. Yeah, 300. And the one that powers my cell phone is about 400. So that's, of the group, that was, uh, that was the highest. So I'm going to grab a handheld and see what it measures. The trick is to key it and not blow up the front end of, of this device. I don't know what's in that little triangle, but I think it's just a simple diode. So um, I've got a handheld that'll... Uh, go right on top. It happens to be one of the 20 to $30 uh, devices, and I'm switching it over to uh, to uh, uh, 440. And if I get my finger on the uh, PTT, all right, that one measures, um, what is it? Uh, 800, 900, about a thousand. Here's the uh, tiny SA, and I've connected it to the computer, and I'm letting the 
software in the computer uh, generate a scan. Uh, in the beginning, the antenna is away from the source of the interference, and as I get closer, you can see how the peaks of some of the signal is coming out of uh, two of the uh, little transformer gizmos, calling them transformers, when in fact they don't have transformers. Uh, the little power supplies. So here's the noise from the little power supplies, and look at the peaks and how many peaks there are uh, from uh, roughly 3 megahertz up to about, uh, looks like 25. And how raucous a signal that is. And this is just two tiny SAs that are plugged in at this point. So here's the question. Do you want something that looks like this, making noise like this, in your radio room? And for that matter, this is just one. What if there are 10? What if there are 20? Uh, putting out sig uh, significant signals in the HF range. And again, I've slowed the sweep down to better display what's going on. Uh, best way around it is a power supply that has a transformer in it and is not a switch mode supply. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. I'm Jim, W6LG in Rockland, California, looking at all of the noise sources in my radio room, and there are plenty. 73. See you later.